We are, uh, are presenting the 2024 national budget on the 30th of November, which is next week uh, on Thursday. So stay tuned. Well, we have a local currency, so our budget is indexed in, in, in local currency. Uh, we expect our budget to be within our usual ballpark, which is a, an expenditure envelope, uh, which is about 19% of our gross domestic product. So it's determined by, 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 by the size of, uh, of you know, revenues that we're able to source from the economy. So currently our revenue GDP ratio is, is 18%. So really we can only spend within that ballpark. So we're going to spend about 19% of the GDP. Uh, we expect a, 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 budget, a small budget deficit of within 1.5% of GDP, which is well within you know, realms of prudence. We're very proud of that trade record that we've been able to maintain such a manageable a small budget deficit uh, and live uh, within our means. We will expect a budget that really will, will leave no one behind. We will find in that budget um, in items that will support, for example, those living with disability. I'm here today, uh, pages, uh, school in Blauer, in the Kumara area. Uh, it's a school that uh, uh, looks after those who have disabilities and gives them an education in scale. So that budget will speak to, to them, this community, in the form of incentives and, and, you know, and the relief that you'll receive in terms of uh, no duties on, on assisting devices, on claims for those who uh, have been using and, and, and on, on imported wheelchairs, you know, things, things like that. But you also find that the budget will speak to special groups, the youth and the women. The youth uh, uh, you know, uh, are currently having this uh, trouble with uh, drugs and substance abuse, for some of them, uh, for various reasons. You know, so make sure that adequate budget is then uh, you know, put in that uh, area to make sure that we can deal with that area and support the youth to get out of that scourge and uh, seek a gainful uh, enterprise else, elsewhere. And then for women, uh, you know that there's an issue regarding uh, a women's bank, we need uh, loans. So we make sure that we, we extend prescribed asset status to women's bank uh, and also to the youth bank. So these banks can support entrepreneurs who are youthful and are, 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 are female. After all, if you look at the women's bank, it's got the best uh, uh, loan uh, service ratio in the sense that the, you know, it's really a, a very small default rate uh, from that bank that will afford our female entrepreneurs being more diligent than their, their male uh, counterparts. Also, in this budget, you will find a, a healthy, you know, uh, uh, allocation towards devolution, making sure that we don't leave any province, any district behind. We will follow the, the usual formula of five percent of uh, budget going towards devolution and focusing on social uh, uh, infrastructure, schools, clinics, hospitals, uh, some roads. What? Those are critical things that uh, uh, the mission budget should, uh, should uh, do. Uh, uh, then on the growth front, uh, you'll find the budget obviously uh, focusing on infrastructure investment, uh, our roads, uh, our dams, uh, roads reduce the cost of, of doing business. But also the uh, roads uh, also supports economic growth because those contracts that we give to companies cement that we buy and this and that, all the material, all that is supportive of economic growth. So investment in infrastructure is an investment in economic growth in the first place. So we want to maintain that uh, focus on, on, on infrastructure. Our health sector will be well supported, uh, building more hospitals, uh, uh, you know, more, uh, you know, sort of salaries, higher level salaries for our uh, health workers, our teachers will support the education sector so that we, we strive to achieve the target of the Abuja target of no less than 15% of GDP and for, for education a, 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 a budget of no less than 20% of GDP in line with the Dakar uh, uh, declaration. You also find in this budget really uh, it, will, it will speak to uh, the entirety of our SDGs, sustainable development goals, uh, the developmental streak in the budget it will be obvious uh, it will be for all uh, uh, to see. I could go on and on, but what you will find, this is the people's budget, it is everybody's budget. It, is, it will support the poor, it will support economic growth, it will redistribute, it will try not to leave anybody behind.
Besides, the driving force behind uh, this budget and every budget is our NDS-1 strategy, which has got 14 pillars. So the budget is making sure that it walks the talk and make sure that every pillar is taken care of. Only that way we will be able to make sure we don't leave any, anyone behind and no place behind. We can only achieve this also in the environment of, of, of stability. Uh, we expect our this budget again to support the macroeconomic stability uh, that we are all currently experiencing. Uh, thank you.